Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and they want this name Kerry uh, welded to this K with this twirly. And just for the one I'm doing the video for, you've got some broken lines. I don't know if something shifted before you sent it. I'm just going to delete them for the time minute, time being for the video. And then I'm going to take the three point curve. I'm going to go from that note to that note. And I'm going to put a little curve on it. And then we've got some stuff going on at the top. It evidently either shifted while you, when you were saving it or you hadn't finished your work, but I'm just gonna close this off a little bit. Three point curve works perfect in this application. Then you can hold down the control button and it'll do a perfect symmetrical circle. So we need to, this is made up of a bunch of different broken lines. We need to fix that. We're gonna see how big this thing is. It's 8.5, we're gonna set our nudge factor on 10. And we're gonna take the smart fill tool and fill that in and nudge it over, fill it in and nudge it over. And what that did, it made it one solid or two solid units. I'm gonna left click, right click for an outline. And now you can see it's not made up of individual lines, but total lines. So now we can get rid of these. We'll just hit the delete key. And this is a text. So we need to go to object and convert it to a curve. Then I'm gonna left click, right click. And now I'm gonna nudge these back. Let me get rid of that. Nudge these back to 10 inches. And we need to make our text bigger, which is no longer a text, but it's a curve. But or font and just kind of stretch it out. I don't like stretching, uh, but from the corners because you don't want to, but in this case, sometimes you almost have to because you can't get that thing longer than, than that. Then you can set your nudge factor on something a little less, 0 0.02. And with the ratio unlocked, you could make this like 1.65. It's going to make our font a little bit taller. And then I can nudge it up to make it kind of equal in space. Kind of click off of it and back up. Let's go to the left a little bit. And this is gonna be so easy, then you just take the entire thing and go right here to weld and weld it. And now you have a cutout K with some frillies and in, in the people's name. And that's how easy that is. I would always smart fill it like I just did. And then if you're gonna cut this out, left click, right click, and look down here to make sure it's a hairline. So now this will cut out. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.